Hi everyone, I am Dr. Zena Bora, and I have with me rank one of uh, INICT November twenty five, Dr. Sai Ram. Uh, many congratulations. Uh, must be an amazing feeling being rank one. Great. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Thank you so much. It's such an honor uh, to be you know talking to you finally. And uh, um, rank one is a crazy feeling. I mean, it's hard to put into words. But yeah, yeah it feels great. So, uh, tell me, what does it take to get a rank one? <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, you put it uh, into words best, ma'am. But uh, I mean, the key is consistency. It is discipline, and um, I mean, it's really a culmination of everything from MBBS, your internship, and then your preparation. I feel like all of that comes together to give you a good rank. Yeah, let's start from the first bit. Uh, how was your MBBS like, and what do you think? Uh, you know, what were the things that you did right uh, in MBBS that you would want to tell your juniors? Yes, ma'am. So uh, I studied in Jipmer, Pondicherry. I'm from the batch of 2019. So I do believe my college is uh, very strict when it came to academics. So the pressure was on us to, you know, be thorough with our textbooks, and uh, you know, it wasn't a fun feeling, but I mean, it did pay off in the end. Yeah. Uh, so, but um, I would say one thing that really changed. uh things for me would be during the pandemic which i mean uh the thing is i had so much time to read my textbooks since i was stuck at home with uh, not yeah. much to do so um i would say my basic subjects from first and second year were really really good and i think that translated into a good rank in i which really focuses on these pre and para clinical subjects uh yeah. so yeah i would say um you know being uh, having good textbook knowledge really does help and um, our clinicals and you know attending clinicals picking up on those small points which you find only in clinicals but not in books and uh, mm-hmm. and uh, of course our internship is uh, really hectic it's uh, full of work but uh, you know so much practical knowledge that i think really does give you confidence when it comes to the exam Yeah, uh, wonderfully yeah. put. You know, and it's those instincts that we keep talking about when you are attempting any exam, uh, particularly I and I. They have this knack of uh, extracting instincts out of students. You know that you did, uh, do not really know. How do I know this? But all right, I'm getting a feeling. Let's go with that. So it's two things. It's you know having that instinct, and second is backing that instinct. If you can do two things, you know it's not something that you've read in the last one week that's going to come into play. It's each and every small thing. You know something yeah, that you've absolutely. Yeah. See, it converts into unexplainable instinct, and you know the answer. So yes, that's so that, yeah, instinct. that's exactly how I felt. Yeah, instinct is is basically based on your memory and all your experiences. So, yeah, yeah, amazing. Uh, so, if you have to name like two non-negotiable textbooks that everybody should uh, read, what would those two books be? Uh, <laughs> that's tough to put in, but I would say Robbins, and um, definitely, I mean. Uh, people follow different books for different subjects yeah. obviously yeah. uh for me microbiology by uh, apurva sastri which was my uh, uh, our professor at jipmer right uh, i feel like these two books were written so well and so easy to read uh so yeah i i'd say those are non negotiable yeah, absolutely i agree on robins for sure uh, you know that's one book i still tell students that whatever doubt you have go back to it and read the pathophysiology because if your second year is strong i believe you know you are set up for a good rank already so yeah, that's the game changer you're not the final year but it's yeah so, absolutely well wow. Amazing. and uh, you know since i didn't read all the textbooks but uh, watching your compiled modules uh, yeah so that that was uh, really nice to see how you summarized everything you know even books that are difficult to read like parks i, I could finish that in 3 hours so you know <laughs> it yeah, was I- like a cheat code yeah <laughs> I do like uh, going back to books. You know, any time I have a doubt, I go back to the source and and you know I extract. <laughs> yeah, just yes, the so I mean, reading those books in MBBS is tough, but once you're done with it, you can go back and appreciate the beauty of these textbooks. True, true. I think MCQs give you that uh, insight. You know, of of what is that line written for? When you do it in the form of <laughs> question, you actually understand it better. That's what yes, I have. Well. That's so, so true. Yeah. Yeah. So, so take me through when you really started to, you know, think of entrances. If if you did at any point, you know that yeah. order to prepare for a NEET, I have to prepare for INI. So, when is it that you really started, and what source did you pick up, and how did you, uh, you know, assimilate? Yes, ma'am. So, I I mean, I would say I'm a late bloomer of sorts because I mean, I look at all these topper interviews, and they started from final year or before that. But I started after internship, and so uh, yeah. So because my internship was practic uh, pretty much hectic, I didn't really have the time to start. Yeah. So uh, my zero attempt uh, during internship, uh, I I got like two point eight k rank with uh, minimal preparation. 
so after my internship was done once i'd come home i you know sat down i i decided these are going to be my sources and this is what i'm going to read and um, uh, what's surprising is i did not know about btr <laughs> after my internship so for some reason i i've never heard of this term i uh, and i only knew about it when my friend introduced it to me he was following btr and he told me there's this program in chennai mom's going to be there for 4 days she's going to cover btr and he invited me i'm like all right sure let's give it a sh- shot and that was my first you know tries with you and your course and i loved it so much i loved uh, especially your mnemonics and the way you teach it resonates with me so much because that's exactly how i set my own mnemonics so i'm like okay this is the perfect source for me to prepare from amazing so, <laughs> yeah. so essentially i believe your conceptual clarity was already there uh, with with those four days you kind of got the syllabus together you got to know you know that all right these are the facts which we need to do and then you found a way to remember those yes ma'am Amazing. Uh, how were those four days? Was it uh, a little overwhelming uh, seeing other people around you? Kind of oh, yeah. BTR. So I think there was like fifteen hundred people in that auditorium, and I, I was really. I mean, it was scary. I mean, seeing all these people, you don't really know what the competition's like unless you see all these uh, faces. <laughs> and yeah. uh, i thought uh, the doing 9 hours a day for 4 days. I mean, it's obviously tiring for you, but as students, I thought it'd be tired. Uh, I mean, yeah. I thought it'd be tough because I'd never done BTR before. Um, mm-hmm. But I do love listening to classes, so I found it uh, pretty easy actually to sit through those nine hours and uh, do BTR with you. That was that was an amazing feeling. Interesting, you know. So you did not do BTR. You came for four days and you got introduced to it. So so uh, how how was your NEET and uh, me and I attempt like? Yeah. So after that, uh, I hadn't done the online BTR yet, and I gave my me and I and I got six ninety eight, mm-hmm. and that wasn't enough uh, for me to get the branch that I wanted. and uh, neat went uh, actually really bad actually compared to you know the standards i set for myself my neat rank was 3.7k mm. uh right and after neat uh, was when i actually started btr the tnd courses uh, cuz my friend who had done btr only btr and pyqs his rank was 22 in neat and that's when i knew that you know just doing just btr can really get you this far and that was the one thing i was missing in my preparation mm. so uh, that was when i started the btr course well amazing so so you used you were saying you used the test and discussion yeah. uh, did you go through the videos as well i, I believe uh, yeah did, yeah i i i went through every test and discussion every video uh, some for some of them i was there live and some of them i watched recorded uh, i did every video yeah amazing so if you have to now you know look back at your me me i i and neat attempt and and versus this attempt what do you think uh, really changed I mean, it is BTR. I I, I don't looking no, back. I no, mean, no. <laughs> you uh, don't have yeah. to say that. But but in your <laughs> own self, you know, uh, what do you think was the difference? <laughs> yes, sir. I know. I I mean, I don't feel compelled to say it is not BTR because uh, I know that the one major change I made was obviously BTR. But apart from that, I mean, after NEET went bad, uh, you know, it I was pretty disappointed with myself. I decided I needed to be needed to show up every day, be more consistent. I started tracking my study hours. and yeah. uh, you know i i really set a routine for myself i established discipline as a, you know a chronic procrastinator that doesn't come naturally it requires a lot of effort uh, but yeah i i definitely put in the hours so something did change after need yeah. that's okay. all so let's yeah. go back to your uh, 9th of november you were sitting in front of your computer screen 30 minutes prior tell me what is going through your mind uh, yeah so i mean obviously there was a lot of nervousness because this is my third attempt and i really needed to crack it this time i set pressure upon myself but i did watch your mega i and i btr the two days before i watched your ashirwad class and i just kept that in mind and um, i have a knack for changing answers quite a bit and getting them wrong so i remembered that you know if i have to change an answer i have to convince you that i have to change this <laughs> answer <laughs> uh, so yeah i was thinking about that but i also had a little confidence in myself i had a gut feeling yeah, that you know this is going to be my exam i'm i'm going to do well so i you know did a little deep breathing and calmed myself before uh, starting the test yeah. and once you know i i did 10 15 questions i'm like okay this is going great <laughs> let's see yeah. where this goes amazing so when you exited the hall did you ever guess it would be rank 1 <laughs> <laughs> no way ma'am i mean i did feel uh, more confident than me coming out of the hall but never rank 1 and after watching uh, your recall um, i was looking at around 160 correct i'm like okay this is you know standard but maybe yeah. top 100 <laughs> but not rank 1 <laughs> 
wonderful yeah. amazing you know so you you uh, done a good mbbs solid foundation um, good internship all of that matters you know in the end and then you yes, brought man. it together and and hopefully you know btr played a role in that and and you know uh, i think btr more than giving you content gave you a structure and that's what was needed to bring you know uh, everything in in one place in your head and and that's what was needed but the groundwork you'd already done by then yes so yeah so thing. i mean Uh, I love that BTR had this schedule. So uh, because I wasn't shed- setting any schedules for myself, so uh, I could say that I had to finish this subject before this date. I have to give the TND with the completed portion. So that you know also pushed me to study better. Yeah. Amazing! Yeah. I'm so pleasantly surprised. You know, I never thought rank one is using BTR. So <laughs> to be very honest, so I'm very pleasantly surprised. And and you know, and uh, that that counts as a vote of confidence for me. And and you Absolutely. know, so yeah. much. Yeah. So, so what what branches are you considering now? Uh, right now, looking at general medicine. I mean, it was always a dream for me to go back to Jipmer and do medicine. Yes. But now with uh, rank one, I do need to consider all options: AIMS, oh, yeah. Delhi, yeah, yeah and PTI. So, absolutely, yes, you should. And and you know, I would uh, love to meet you in Delhi if you decide to take up AIMS, Delhi. We would would love to meet you. And it you would be an honor. Yes, sir. Well. Yeah, in in Vidya Jeevan as well, you know, talk to our students and help them because Absolutely. I uh, rank one. It, it's it's an honor, but it's also a responsibility. That's what yes. you realize once all of this calms down. That it's a responsibility, and and uh, you know, uh, you should take it forward. Uh, yes, you know, so people don't. There is a rank one every six months. Uh, yes, that your JRs will uh, help you remember as soon as you enter residency. They'll tell you that we are also toppers before you. Uh, so so you know your rank. Rank one will stay with you for the next two months, but now it's on you to to take it forward and guide your juniors and help them out and you know, uh, tell them what you learned along the way. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, you know, there's this quote by I think Newton or maybe before that, but it says we stand on the shoulders of giants. So you know, we also have a legacy to pass on, and we also learn from the ones before us. So it is a responsibility. Absolutely, and you are such a great speaker. You know that uh, you you should uh, bring out more content. You know, in any form. You know, so so do continue uh, doing this, and That's hopefully cool. we'll we'll meet you soon in person. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You are such an inspiration. Thank you for everything, ma'am. I'm very yeah. thankful to the BTR course. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.